Hello the people of the universe, this is the Avian Wizard and welcome back to another video and today in this video we are once again playing Minecraft communities as we sell off an art on this channel at set on no on Saturday at 7 o'clock. I know what I'm on about. Right so uh, let's go straight into it I guess. There's no real announcements to make. Oh there we go. Um, so let's just take a shortcut. Normally I swim down to the end but we're being super speedy today for no real reason but we are anyway but I've got to show you some things. Um, I've done some decoration in the area up there um, in between videos but first off let me go and feed all my dogs um, let me just go and make sure I've got the right ones otherwise all the dogs will have the wrong food uh, and a few of them are running low I don't know why I didn't get them all the same amount unless I have and some of them have just been having late night snacks midnight snacks yeah it is midnight isn't it not late night um, so yeah well I guess you could have late night as well and um that like midnight is late night i guess so it makes sense some it, ma it makes sense to me anyway they're, they're virtually the same thing well no a midnight snack can be a late night snack and a late night snack can be a midnight snack but it doesn't have to be a midnight snack does that make sense? I don't know what I'm on about. Well, I do know what I'm on about, but I don't know whether you know what I'm on about. So, yeah, that that's just a bit confusing, I guess. Um, so let's run over here, and I'll show you what I've been up to. Um, we're building over here today, just because I want to extend down on this street, and then this will be, like, another street going all the way down there, and eventually it will meet the uh, river. So let me just go and eat something as well, otherwise my hunger's going to go down massively. Um, so this is the arcade that we were building in last video. Nothing really has changed um, through here. It's just pretty much normal. Just have a quick go in the claw machine. Not going to win anything though, because just like real life, it's fixed. Um, so yeah, in here I've added in a little park uh, with a little pond or lake in the middle. I don't know whether it's a pond or a lake. I don't know what the difference is, but it's a small body of water with a duck wearing a fez in the middle. So yeah, and then there are some nice little benches around here that you can just have a sit down on and just observe the duck in the water. The really big floating duck um, that's floating like a couple of pixels off the water, if you can see that. Um, so yeah, I had to break away some of this tree as well because it grew too big and I wanted to bench down here. And yeah, like that was just a bit of a, um, bit of a thing I wanted to show you. So let's, uh, oh yeah, uh, something else has happened over here. I've finished, finally, with the help of a few other people, um, building, well, I didn't start building it, but I finished off um, Laurie's old, not community, estate, that's the one, um, over here. And he, I saw that was a creeper in there, but no, ooh, there's a dog in there. Is that a wild dog? Yeah, that's a wild dog. I don't know if it was like one of mine teleported and got stuck down there or something. Uh, but yeah, I thought that bamboo was a creeper. But essentially all I've done is I've just finished off this wall along here. Um, so then it's just a bit more complete. And I, I did shorten it a little bit. But you have still got the fishing port there. Uh, just because I didn't want it taking up as much room as it was going to. So I had to destroy some of the wall, uh, some of the wall that was going towards the water over here. Uh, and I mucked up the water down here a little bit as well because for some reason it's just really weird and it won't do what it's supposed to do. It just seems to stay wherever I place it. And I don't know whether there's a way to fix that, but um, that's the current predicament I'm in, but that won't actually work for me. Um, so let's run over it. Oh, I haven't added in the vines and the mossy bits yet on the back. That's another thing I have to go around and do at some point. So we haven't finished it yet. Thought I had, but apparently not. Um, so yeah, let me go and run back all the way over here, and I think that that is it to what I have to show you. There's a map here. What map's this? Oh, that's just a map of Laurie's estate. Okay, uh, I'll keep that with me, just in case we end up making any sort of weird updates to that without me noticing. Um, so let me go and grab this here and this is all the stuff that we're building out of so i'm gonna actually explain what we're building it's like so in terraria you build well you can build things called biome boxes 
and they're like little boxes for, for each individual biome oddly enough which is why they're called biome boxes and i thought that would be cool to do in minecraft so i've essentially done the equivalent or as close to an equivalent of a biome box as i could think of doing um so yeah it is like um the oh my turf what was i saying um, I don't know what I was saying. Oh yeah, it's the equivalent of a terraria biome box, but it's done in like the style of a greenhouse because I thought that would be quite cool. Um, so we're going to be building it out of jungle uh, wood and blue stained glass. Originally I did clear, then I changed it all to blue. Uh, no, then I changed it all to green, sorry. And then I changed it all to blue. Um, but I think this is how it, uh, how it looks best. So where's the middle? I think this is the middle, isn't it? Uh, is this it? Nope, it's one off to the right if you're looking at it from there, the left if you're looking at it from the other way. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that direction, and on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okie okay, day. Um, so I can't actually remember how long the side has to be, which is probably a thing I should have um, tried to figure out beforehand. Uh, but being a numpty, I didn't. So I need to build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I need 13 uh, blocks along backwards and that does not count. So let me go and um, just come over here and start building. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then I can just go and link this up. It's just going to be a box. Um, and most of it is going to be built out of glass. Because that's what a greenhouse is made out of predominantly. Or like plastic, see-through plastic. But um, the predominant... Um, uh, the, the majority of it, that's the one that I want to wear. I'm making my words so much today. Um, that's going to be built out of blue stained glass. And a little bit out of jungle planks and uh, spruce wood as well for the... Uh, roof is going to have really really fancy roof which I'm probably I'm going to try to get done in this video because I'm going to try and get the entirety of the exterior done in this video but I doubt that I will be able to so I need to build up uh, three wait hang on yeah three more here so one two three and then I'll come over here and do the same thing and then on top of that, it does not need to be any sort of um, like beam going across, but there does need to be on the side. So one, two, three. Then we just need to connect these. Then on the front, it's going to be pretty much um, like that's going to be the main side for the glass because that's just going to be all glass. The front It's going to be one giant window, but then the sides are going to be like windows within frames sort of thing. Well, I guess the roof is the frame on the front, but it's a really strange roof, and I'm quite happy with it because a lot of roofs tend to look exactly the same. They're just built with stairs and stuff. Obviously, I couldn't use stairs uh, because they don't have glass stairs. So I've done it like a combination of building styles that you would normally find. Uh, so the one where you've got... Um, like you use a half slab then a regular block then a half slab then a regular block to make it go up slowly i've used that um and then i've also used just like a few like building tutorials on how to build roofs like that i've watched uh, i didn't really steal anyone's in particular so i can't really give a shout out but i essentially just watched a few and got the general gist of how you do it so i think on the topic of roofs i'm just going to build a roof now at least the frame of it on the front. Um, so I'll just grab loads of these. And then here I need to pile up. Just piling up on the path for now. But that will be destroyed in the end. So if I go along like this. And that's linked up. So I'll have to remember that that needs to go one out further than the rest of it. Um, so I'm just going to build along here. But I'm not going to build along the entire way all the way up yet. Because I think that might be easier to do outside of video. Otherwise, that's just going to take forever to do. So, just carry on going like this. And then 
up here that needs to go um, there and then destroy this but then I need to go uh, one across and one two up so it makes like a little L shape then going up there's going to be another L shape so I'll go like here and break this away this is only going to be a one like a right angle L like an equal L shape I don't know the uh, I know what I'm on about you know what I mean like where it just goes up by one uh, it's got the one in the middle and then it goes across by one as well or across by one one in the middle and then up by one I guess because I said it weirdly um, so I need to be careful where I place it because I need to be able to destroy it while I'm up here otherwise it's going to be really annoying to have to destroy the, like the scaffolding afterwards I should probably start using scaffolding more than I already do because it's actually really useful it's just the same as like when you use sand and stuff um, and then you can just destroy it all with torches afterwards but like I, I haven't really had a reason to start with that so I think the easiest way to do it is well I do have a reason to start with that I don't have an easy way of making it is what I mean um, so what I'm going to do and I'll probably forget either like anyway even if I did start doing it so I'm then going to do the same along this side and this time it's linked up in a different way but in the same place roughly um, so let me go and quickly destroy that nearly fell off the roof that piece is gone but we don't really need that piece so let me go and do like that and then we need to do the same um, sort of thing on the other side um, the same framework on this side and it's just going to go back in a row so it needs to go like this and then it needs to go uh, it's, it's essentially just the same so if you know like you, you essentially just need to follow the design that was on the first one the one that we've just done but reverse it so that's essentially what I've got to do but I'm not doing it like that I am looking at the picture to try and find out um, how to do it easier so then I need to go here here and then one up and need to destroy the one that I placed to build the here here and then one up and oh no I've done it wrong ah oh, okay right so I need to go and place all of this uh, along here um, right I'll destroy this this oop that was close to me falling down there didn't want that to happen then this and then up here or then go up by one and then up here and then I need to destroy this away and then go up and then across by two one two and break away the block that I had and we pretty much use exactly a stack to build this but admittedly quite a lot of that stack has gone on the floor and used to make scaffolding um, so it's not actually you don't actually need that much jungle wood to build this thing made out of a lot of jungle wood um, so I think the easiest thing to do now at least the most productive thing to do now is to go and do the same framework on the other side so once again this needs to stick out at the back just like so and then oh wait hang on does this have um, no this does not have a thing underneath it so I need to destroy this bit of frame here and then it needs to go up like this and then cross here is that right and then up by two one two is that correct yes it is and then I need to go up again here and then I'll destroy that and then just do the little right angle thing uh, it's just one by one with the middle cut out and then need to cut this up here not cut it place this up here um, and is that done correctly yes it is I believe and you just need to add the one bit in the middle which is just going to be there so now I need to jump down and do the same thing on this side so I might as well just carry on with the way I was doing it I've really gotten like I'm not looking at the picture I'm just checking uh, across like just across the thing but I think I've pretty much just sorted it now of how to do this because I've done it like twice already uh, three times already now uh, so now it's just this bit here 
Um, and then need to go up and then across by two, I think. And then that should take us to the middle. Yes, that is pretty much perfect. So it's a really weird route design, but I think it actually looks quite nice. It looks a bit like a barn, like um, similar to this. This is very similar design to the roof I was going to do for the farm factory over there. I think it's called the farm factory. The big barn that's a farm. It's a, I can't remember what I called it. But it's something like that I called it. Um, so let me go and just get rid of this scaffolding. And then I think what might be worth doing is going to add the blue stained glass in. Uh, and then we can do, yeah, if I do that, then I'll do the roof in between videos. And then in the next video, um, we can like start doing the inside and the actual buying boxes. And I heard a witch, so that's not very good, but I did hear a witch. So I'm going to be on the lookout. Um, so it needs to go like this and it's essentially just going in line with, um, the way this is actually going to be quite dangerous here. I think it might be worth going up like so and then I only really have to fall down once at the very end and then I can just do do it like this on the other side as well so I'm taking less damage and therefore using less food and therefore have a less lower risk of dying and I don't really want to die while building this because I'm literally building a greenhouse um, so I think if I do it like so and then come up here and then it needs to be like that Sadly, I don't have a silk touch pickaxe anymore because it broke. So now I need to just go and do the same thing up along here and just build up by two at a time because then I can just keep uh, building up because you can reach. I think you can only reach two. You can't reach three, can you? No, you can't reach three. So yeah, you do need to build up two at a time, but then this just gets it done uh, quicker than if you just did it normally. But now I'm going to link that up just because otherwise it'd be annoying me and it's still annoying me even though it's about to be just like taken over anyway so it's like that and ooh, there's an added one there that doesn't need to be there um wait hang on this doesn't need to be here either does it or does it uh no it doesn't so i believe i said that with a weird voice so i believe um, I just need to add those two there and then I'll run down here and run to the back and just make sure that it is even because if not then that is going to be very annoying and it is even no it's not no because I've built a two up there that don't need to be there but other than that I do believe this is even uh, so it's just those two like that and then the roof is going to be made out of partially glass as well uh, and then the uh, rest of it is going to be made out of, wait, hang on, how have I, yeah, and then the rest of it's going to be made out of spruce half slabs, um, just to have that thing that I was on about earlier, the building style where you, like, use a half slab and a regular block to go up by a half slab at each time, even if that block doesn't have a half slab, like, it, it sounds weird, but you'll, you'll know what I mean once I do it. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, okay, I do have some more blue stained glass. I thought I ran out then and I'd have to run all the way back. That would have been very, um, time wasting considering I'm already all the way up here. So I might as well just carry on with what I was doing. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. Uh, let me go over here and climb. No, I'm not going to, I can't climb any further. But I do believe that is correct. I'm going to quickly drop down here. And yeah, I do think that that is the correct way to do it. And I can hear things underneath the floor. And I'm pretty sure one of them is ground and one of them is a witch. So that's going to be very dangerous if I fall down there. And I'll probably die if I do. However, because we're not doing the floor in this video, um, I don't really need to break away the floor. So I won't be able to fall down there because there is a floor currently there stopping me from doing that. So let's just quickly go and work on the uh, glass down here. I did think about doing um, panes of glass, but like, excuse the pun, but that they were a bit of a pain to work with. Ooh, no, okay, I'll stop. But um, yeah, they're, they're just a bit fiddly, and like they don't look very good when you're going up as tall as that does. Uh, but normally I probably would have used uh, panes for it. 
But yeah, this is pretty much the outside, uh, the exterior of this place, pretty much finished. Um, so yeah, we've pretty much run out of time now anyway, so I'll finish off the roof in between this video and the next video, and then I will be able to just go in and build the biome boxes themselves. And they're not going to be boxes, they're going to be more like squares with those biomes attributes in, I guess. And we don't have any bamboo, I need bamboo. Um, and I need nether, oh no, I've got nether wart. I think it is just bamboo I need. Uh, and lava, yeah, I've got lava. Yeah, I need bamboo and water I need to go and get. I can just go and harvest some of Laurie's bamboo and steal some of his water. I'm sure he won't mind. Uh, and obviously the bamboo will grow back. So, uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Next video will be online next week. As always, the link will be in the description once it is. So, goodbye.